Yo, what's going on guys? This is Easy Tech Two Three One here back again with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the Nexus 5 launcher that you can get on your Android device today. So yesterday, October 31st, Google silently <laughs> released the Google Nexus 5. And uh, with that, we were able to get our hands on the KitKat launcher. Um, as well as a bunch of other new things. So I will put the uh, links in the description, or actually link, where you can find all the downloads for all of, all of the things in this video, um, and then some. So here's the launcher here, it's called Google Home, and uh, this is actually really cool. So we're getting a taste of Android 4.4 KitKat. Um, so you can actually go uh, to the Play Store on your computer and you can actually order a Nexus 5 right now. It goes 16 gigabytes for, uh, what was it, $350 and then $400 for twice the storage and 32 gigabytes. So that's really cool. Um, I would really love to get one, um, but you know, do I really need it? I have an S4, I mean, and also I have the launcher right here, so it's really cool. So this is the launcher itself, and this is what you can expect on KitKat. So go ahead and download this and get a look at it for yourself. Um, but here it is. So we have um, some new things here, the new wallpaper, this came with it. Um, we also have new icon for the app drawer. We have new icon, you know, folder background. Um, first thing I noticed that the icons are a little bigger. Um, the font is also different. Um, but yeah, that's the first thing that I, I noticed was that the, the icons are different. Um, they're just a, just a tad bit larger. And uh, also one thing I noticed about the folders is that, you know, they kind of took a step down in terms of the minimalistic look and feel of Android where they kind of made this semi-transparent uh, white background. It is transparent, you can see through it. Um, but I, I would have preferred like a, a perfect, not a perfect, but a, maybe an 80% transparent, uh, you know, background to keep it minimalistic and to keep with the whole transparent look. But, you know, this is cool. That's just a personal preference. I prefer transparent uh, folder backgrounds, but, you know, that's just me. Um, this is the new look for the folders. Um, what else do we have here? And yes, um, yeah, so if you may have noticed, we have Google Now, quick access to Google Now, which is really nice. This is the new app drawer. The background is now transparent as well. Um, and you may notice that there's, there are no widgets in the app drawer anymore. Well, how do you get to those? Well, you can get it one of two ways. You can long press on the home screen, or if your phone has a menu button, you can, you can hit that. And uh, it'll bring you to a zoomed out view of all your home screens as well as your access to wallpapers and Google settings, which is really nice. So if I were to go to widgets here, it will give me an app drawer style of my, all my widgets. Um, so let's go ahead and get something here. Let's see. Let's go ahead and do Google Play recommendations. That's how you add another screen. And it doesn't look like in, for, in KitKat you will be able to have an empty screen. Uh, by that I mean, now I have three screens. Um, and I'm going to take this widget off of this screen. And now I'm back to two screens. So I guess, you know, Google doesn't want you to have, you know, empty on your screens. Okay, that's cool. And then you can also put, um, you can also move your home screens around like this. It's pretty cool. So if you don't want Google now uh, on the, you know, right on the left screen, you can add other screens to get in the way, so to speak. And then your leftmost screen will be uh, Google now. So um, they're really trying to Googleify. <laughs> your phone so they want everything about the Nexus phone to be Google um, so I also believe that the SDK was already released so we can we will probably be seeing some ROMs uh, in the upcoming in, you know just a few weeks maybe in a couple days I mean you know how quick they are with this kind of stuff uh, so what else is new um, I mean that's really just about it uh, you do get some updates to the clock Gmail Google keep it'll all be um, in the description where you can find the downloads for this but they're not completely new UI changes. They are just, uh, you know, just small updates. The Google keyboard is a little different now where you can actually, you know, search for something. Um, let's see here. Um, the swipe is now white. It's no longer blue. So that's just one thing. Um, let's go back here. Uh, what else? I believe you can uh, access voice search by just saying, okay, Google, but it doesn't really, <laughs> or just Google. But it doesn't want to, it doesn't want to recognize my voice or something. Um, so also in the new Hangouts application, uh, integrated um, 
SMS, so now you can merge your Hangouts with, you know, your text messages, which is pretty cool, I guess. Um, I might check that out later on. But that's pretty much it. Um, it also does come with a whole bunch of wallpapers. Um, this wallpaper isn't one of them. This came with a ROM that I'm running. Don't particularly like that. Um, <laughs> but we have a whole bunch of wallpapers here, as well as your live wallpapers here on the right. And, yeah, you can just, you know, pick whichever one you like. Let's go ahead and just try this one, for example. And there we go. So that is the launcher. Go ahead and check it out. Again, like I've said many times before, I'll put it in the description below so you can go ahead and find it. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, Google is really just trying to make your phone centered around Google. Um, and, you know, I can understand that. Uh, but yeah, definitely check it out. Um, fun thing to play around with and you can, I, I don't know, fool your friends, tell them that you have 4.4 KitKat already. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, go ahead and check it out, like I said, and, uh, have fun with it. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, subscribe for more videos like this. Uh, like and favorite if you enjoyed. Share with your friends. Follow me on Twitter at EA Sport 23 and I will catch you guys later.